Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at uh, the, 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 we're going to be having a look at the Hypersonic by Vapanaut. Now this was sent on to me by a company in France which is called Uvape. Now for those of you that don't know, uh, now Uvape, this is not paid for this review, uh, if it was I would tell you but it's definitely not paid for. Uh, pros and cons as always I will give you at the end but I will say that within the UK sometimes we do get nobbled uh, by some restrictions when it comes to TPD uh, especially when we want to get things like from Germany sometimes it can be a bit of a hassle however Keep an eye on stores like Uvape in France uh, because sometimes they get stuff from Germany that we normally can't get. So it's well worth giving a look up to sites like this if you want to grab something unobtainable. But anyway, this is about La Hypersonic. Now, as I said, it's from Vapanaut. Uh, you're looking about, I think it's about 129, 130 euros, plus you'll have shipping to the UK. Uh, now, I've never done a review for uh, Vapenot before. This is my first time using any of their atties, uh, so it's a new one for me. And I've had this for two or three weeks now, and that's it on the, the Ma mod just now. This is a stab wood, and we've got a MOSFET going on here. And you do get a stainless steel top cap for this thing, but you also get a polycarb one as well, which I'll show you in the close ups. I do have a bit of a it's a bit of a 50 50 this one but that once again i'll cover it at the end but for now close-ups so here we go guys this is the very very first time i've reviewed anything from vapenaut and we have the hypersonic and i think pretty much all their gear actually comes in these little tubs like this you will get an allen key you will get spare post screws spare o-ring and you will get a standard 510 pin so you can just drip with this as normal or you can put in a squonking pin it's quite easy to change it over we do have our deck here now this is 316 stainless steel it's made in france and basically you can just you know you can unactually unscrew this from the deck and we'll just if I pop this on here and give it a little spin I can nip that up so it just it does mean that you can actually you know pop your coil in in here but taking that all out I haven't actually felt the need to do it myself it's not something I have been doing but yeah if you want to you can just unscrew this and this usually goes flying but no there we go so boom just like that now I will say that we do have peak insulators going on here and once again 316 stainless steel the actual holes uh, that we have you know for popping your wiring up top you're looking at two millimeters in diameter for these here and using the supplied allen key you know you just go in here and round the other side as well and you can undo them and just pop your coils in i mean essentially it's like it's almost like half a dead rabbit if you like so your coil is going to sit up the top here and your wick's going to come down here and the same come down over here actual depth for the the deck or the well at the bottom it's about eight millimeters in depth so you can you've got a tiny little reservoir of juice in there but what i'm going to do is i want to show you something uh, what we'll do is we'll get onto the top cap and just taking that off so what you actually have is you have an insert like this uh, so we have this is an ultim insert it comes with an ultim drip tip as well we have a single o-ring here we have three 1.5 millimeter air holes on either side and you can adjust this so that you can have all six open or just down to one on either side open and you do that by using either the, the stainless steel supply top cap here or AFC or you use you've got a polycarbonate one here as well so what's going to happen is you just take this here I would always advise that you get a bit of e-liquid and smear it on here first and that just kind of like pops in I'm just going to eyeball this I'm just going to drop that in there and click it goes into place and then that will then just click onto there like that I will say that you can adjust the airflow so you can spin this round. It seems to adjust no problems whatsoever using the Ultim in the polycarbonate. But if I use this in the, the stainless steel one, uh, it's not so good. So I'm just popping that out of there just now. And I'm just going to pop it into the stainless steel one. So that just goes in there like that. 
uh, and just quickly pop that on there and that's what you get. Now it is quite a tall affair this one and you're looking about 26 points, 28, is it 28.6 millimetres in height? Not including the drip tip or the 510 and it is 22 millimetres in diameter. Now what I want to show you is, and this is the strange one, if you look at this, uh, so here's your, your reducer or your top cap and you can see how this is going to work. This is actually going to sit right on there like that. So this is what you've got going on. So if you also look here, when you squonk, juice is going to come out your little squonk hole in the middle there, and it's going to, you know, it's going to spill off. So basically it just comes up here and spills off and goes down and fills up your reservoir. Now the only thing I've found is that um, if you look at this, if I pop this back on here, it, it, it kind of closes it off. Um, there is, you know, this little edge here, see that just there, that bit there. Now that does sit on this flat edge here and there should be a little bit of space for the juice to go down into the reservoir. But see how it's at that edge there? It runs right along. I don't know why they didn't cut a notch out of that to correspond with you know this cutout that we have here so that you know when you squonk it's actually going to get past that edge really really easily because it doesn't so if you squonk if you push your bottle hard you do actually end up getting you can get just coming up the air holes here and actually over squonk which is really, it just seems like a really, really strange decision for me. They just, all they had to do was just cut out a couple of little notches to correspond with that hole there. Does that make sense? I hope so. Now I'm going to pop a coil on this just now and I will say, I find it a strange decision that they, they actually put um, holes on both sides. Uh, you know, it's threaded all the way through. Uh, I'm sure there's a good reason for it. I, I'm not sure why. But uh, I wish they'd just threaded it on one side because, you know, when you pick it up, you're like, does this go in here or, or does this go in here? Uh, so, yeah, I just wish there'd been a hole on one side rather than both sides. But once again, this is two millimeter inner diameter. Now, just for clarification, you are looking about eight millimeters between the two holes here. So it gives you a rough idea on the size of the coil you're going to use. Now I am using one of Peter's coils from uh, yeah, PC Coils and uh, you can see that the, the legs have come right down through there and you know I could leave this post inside the deck and just roughly cut them to size it works that way as well but if you want you can take the 510 out and you can do it this way tighten these back off same on this side get my snips in there and cut these off Get my little coiling rod, 3mm inner diameter, and just, uh, you know, line this up. Make sure everything's hunky-dory there. Just to give you an idea, you can see how that coil is actually sitting right inside there now. And that's what's been working for me. I will say when I put this back in, I mean, you can, you've got plenty, you know, of purchase here. You can just grab on there and just tighten it off. I give it a good nip up. I've not had any leaking coming from here and you can see that we've got Vaponaut and the Hypersonic and serial numbers going on. But I'll put this on a mod and we'll give this a pulse. And I'll just give this a push here just now and oh, there we go. All good. And I'm using my Ma mod that uh, I just I picked this up second hand. Uh, this is by Joel and the, the it's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'll put, uh, yeah, you'll find them on Facebook if you're interested in one of these. So I've cut my cotton and, you know, I just want the, I've tweezed it out, I've taken out all the excess and I'm just going to poke it down here and I just want it just so it's just about touching the, the base of the reservoir, of the, the well. I don't want too much cotton going down here because, well, you'll, you'll see why in a second. You almost have to have it, you know, your cotton there. You can't have your cotton going on the, the outside of this. It has to fit right in between where the ceramic tweezers are there. You have to keep it in line there. Another thing you have to remember is that you cannot 
pack your cotton too much against the side here because remember your top cap is going to go on and it's going to slide on inside the, the well here so if you've got your cotton packed down too far or whatnot when you put your top cap on it's not actually going to sit flush so it's not just a case of just you know slapping cotton in here and, and forgetting about it you have to make sure that it's lined up properly and it's not too thick going down the sides there or it will give you issues and once again just to highlight this you know if I take my insert here you can see if I pop that over there like that just now you know you can't really put your cotton anywhere else if you do then it's going to mess with this fitting on I will also say that you know when you take your top cap off it more often than not it actually grabs the cotton and it, and it pulls it out a little bit with it so yeah it's just something to point out now this coil here is coming out about 0.35 ohms now i have tried simple round wire builds in here uh, but i will say 0 0.25 0 0.35 coils work really well in this uh, i tried a 0 0.5 ohm build with just plain old round wire like i usually do and for whatever reason it just doesn't work that great in here you do have to have a bit of a beefier coil and you do have to give it a bit more power to get the best out of this now just to highlight, hopefully this shows up what I'm talking about. So if I squonk here, hopefully this, see the juice? So the juice is coming out, it's pouring out off that little ledge there and it's spilling down into the reservoir at the bottom. That's how you want it to work. And if I take this cap and I'm going to put it on, uh, don't worry about the colour here. This will eventually, as as time goes by, you'll find that this you know semi translucent semi what so semi translucent effect here, uh, it will become more yellow. You'll see the the ultim underneath as you use it. But if I just line up everything here, I'm going to pop this on just now. So just to show you, you can see here there's it's a bit of wiggle room in this here you know this this there's a bit of wiggle in this i wish it was a bit more solid the fitment on it all right let's give this a bash so i've got juice in my bottle here i'm going to give this a squonk look 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 i've got juice coming out the holes this shouldn't happen all they had to do was cut a little notch into that bit of ultim that i showed you earlier on and this wouldn't happen. Now, you'd, admittedly, I do have to give it a hard squonk. I do have to squonk hard with it for this to happen. If I give it a little bit of pressure and I'm really, really slow with it, then this doesn't occur. But it just, I think it could have been remedied so easily. Now, I've just pulled the top cap off there and you can see that it's caught the cotton and, and it's moved it. So yeah, I'm gonna to have to pop that back in. That's, that's a, a bit of a con for me as well. The fact that it doesn't always happen, but uh, it happens more often than not. I think I also said earlier on that uh, when you've got the Ultim piece inside here, uh, the stainless steel one, it's, it's hard to adjust the AFC when you've got it on the stainless steel, um, but it's easy on the, the PC one. I got that the wrong way around. Um, it's, it's easier when it's inside the stainless steel one. It's still not the easiest to adjust, but yes, I can spin it backwards and forwards here. But once again, it's you don't get much purchase on here. So, nah, and that's you got the, the full satin look with the stainless steel. But once again, you've got you've got play in the top cap there it's just i'm just not a fan of that and there she is sitting on the mod and yeah it's tall there's no there's no getting away from it but um yes we'll cover everything else back up top so how has life been with the hypersonic well uh sh short and sweet short and sweet version uh first off the vape from it it is a restricted direct lung. Uh, you've got those three, was it 1.5 mil air holes? This is it fully open. It's a very restricted direct lung and you can take it down tighter and you can, or you can have a mouth to lung from it. It's a loose mouth to lung, but you can have a mouth to lung. But there is a little catch on that one for me because as far as I'm concerned, when I use normal, mouth to lung coils that I use in the past, I just don't get that great a flavor from this tank. I really don't, or RDA. Uh, however, 
if I put in like one of Peter's coils from PC Coils, if I put one of his coils in, a uh, fuse clapped in, things like that, 0 0.35 ohm, 0 0.3, turn up the wattage a wee bit more and it just suddenly comes to life with the airflow fully open. That for me is where this thing excels and that's its sweet spot. It may differ for you, uh, it may differ for you, but um, I was struggling with this at first and uh, there's an awfully nice man called Kevin uh, that uh, in my Facebook group and he's a very nice clog, I'll say that about him. Uh, very nice man and, and he said try one of Peter's coils in it and I did and that was it, transformed the Atty for me. So fully charged 18650 battery, MOSFET here and I've just squonked and She's firing away. That's really nice. I'm going to give it a yet yeah, two thumbs up on the flavour with a coil like that in it. I really do enjoy vaping with it. Can't fault it with the flavour front at all. The airflow is nice and smooth with all those air holes open and it just suits me like that. It really does suit me and and I wish I could stop there and say no more but I need to keep going. Adjusting the airflow, even with this Ultim insert and the stainless steel one, it's I have to keep twisting it round and round and you know when you do that you know you, you're actually, you can't twist it all the way round because you'll just bump into your coil basically. It can only move so far. Um, with the PC one, it's just, I can't. I actually have to pop the top cap off, pop the insert out, line it up and pop it back in and it's, it's a pain in the backside. So uh, yeah, adjusting the, the airflow isn't the easiest in my humble opinion. Also, you have to be careful with the amount of cotton you put in. You don't want cotton sitting right down in the bottom of the deck because if you do, remember your, you know, the top cap here goes inside this bit at the bottom so it can mean or possibly affect the way that your top cap sits on here and you might end up with little gaps so be careful in that. I do find when I take the top cap off that it's always going to pull the cotton out. It just happens to me, it happens all the time. Uh, my other... <sighs> if you squonk, if you squonk with this, if you squonk slow and hard it, it will, the juice will come down and it will fill that reservoir up at the bottom. I don't find it leaks out and I can vape for quite a long time with this. It's good in that respect. I just, I, I'm not an Atty designer. I, I, I don't put my name on things, I don't design gear or anything like that. But to me, the way that that insert or the top cap section sits on the deck or it, it, they should have cut two notches out and I'm really tempted just to cut them out myself so that when you squonk the juice comes out and there's somewhere for it to go straight away whereas right now it's actually hitting there's not a lot of space for the juice to actually come down it just seems like a maybe I'm missing something Maybe I am. Uh, I, there's always that possibility, but I'll, you know, I'm going to stand by my opinion on this one. I think it's an oversight and it's a bit of a niggle. So if you squonk hard, you can get juice coming out the air holes. It, it's possible to do that. Just squonk slow and you won't have an issue. Am I making a meal out of something just because I think maybe I've noticed something that maybe nobody else has? I don't know. Uh, maybe I am. Uh, but just squonk slow and, and it'll be fine. It won't give you an issue. It's tall. It, it, it is tall. It's very, very tall. But you've got to remember you've got that 8mm juice reservoir depth there for that juice reservoir there. So yeah, you can, squonk, you can vape for quite some time before you have to squonk again. It's almost like an RDTA, almost. But uh, yeah, the, the actual deck design as well is, it's like a single coil dead rabbit for me. The clever thing about it is actually the reduced chamber inside and the, the air holes just giving it that super smooth vape. It is, it's a beautiful vape.
but you have to get the build just right. It's not one for it's not for a 15, 20 watt vape. It's it's one for a 30 watt vape. Um, that that's my take on it. it. It's I don't know. I just I don't want to take away from the fact how much I enjoy vaping on it, but I just think there's been some oversights on this one, and it's this this wobble here. The fact that you know there's so much movement there. Um, the the deck isn't the, the deck itself isn't anything really new that you haven't seen before. There are some clever things in this, there's some things that aren't so clever and it's... I don't know. I'm not sold in this one. As much as I enjoy the vape, I'm not sold in it and I think they should have spent more time on getting just some of the rough edges finished off in this. I'm not talking machining wise, but just the actual design itself. I just... I think it could have been so much better. I will say as always, that's just my opinion. Uh, go and watch other reviews, speak to people that own it. I'm sure they've got Facebook groups and so on. I'm not in any of them, I've not checked. I've not watched any other builds or anything like that. So I may be completely wrong, but that's based on me using it for the past couple of weeks. And um, I can only give you my opinion at the end of the day. Uh, so take it as you will. But I would like to say thank you to you, Vape, for sending this on. I did get it free to review and to show off to you guys. And once again, check out their site and check out the other French sites as well because there's a lot of good ones and these guys are sometimes a good gateway for us in the UK getting gear from other places that we may not normally get. But as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now.